Hey everybody, welcome back to Fast Fair Business, my side of Fact Chill. Real quick, I forgot to film, I, I did film the intro for this um, video, but I accidentally deleted it. I'm doing a deep clean of the entire fair room. Um, that's what I'm doing. So now onto the next bit of the video. Sorry about this. Okay, we just had some time out, but I'm happy about it now. Um, first things first, I'm basically going to be removing some things out of the room, which Mostly for now, the dirty washing. This is all the like, sort of dirty bedding. I'm going to be removing it. I'm also going to be removing this tunnel. It is what the fake grass came in a few months ago. But obviously, it is cardboard. Cardboard gets a bit mucky after a while, so I'm going to just go remove it and bin it, unfortunately. And I'm also going to remove. I'm also going to remove probably the other tunnel for now as well. Um, yeah, just remove a few bits and then I'm going to get started on... God, I can't work things. You'll see, I'm going to do a voiceover. Let's get started. Hi everybody, so as you can see here, I sort of just started with taking all the toys and bits and pieces out of the playpen because things end up in there all the time. I'm going around the whole room really, collecting up all the toys um, and putting the balls back in ball pits. Um, they have a lot of toys and they do kind of end up everywhere and I noticed that there's um, some moths coming out of their toy basket so I ended up separating the toys into three piles. There was the bin pile because there's some toys that we just don't play with and they're too mucky to be saved including one that was literally growing mold so that had to go and a couple of others that were contaminated. There's a wash pile and a safe pile that was just you know they were fine they didn't need to be washed they were fine so that's what I'm doing here separating them mostly. A lot of them needed to be washed um, but honestly, a lot of them were fine, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, that was all good. And then <laughs> I'm giving them treats because, my god, they were desperate to get out. They absolutely despise the room cleaning because they hate it when I'm in the room with them but not getting them out. Obviously, because they free roam, you know, they, they must think I'm betraying them or something. Um, but it, they hate it, so... I was trying to give them treats to distract them, but as you can see, especially Squeak first, Squeak hates it, Christ. It's really funny about watching them and um, fast forward, actually. So here, you can't really see, I'm just all like moving things out of the way um, onto the grass bit because I'm about to hoover the floor. And as you can actually see quite clearly, um, there's some dirty sections. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm taking a pair of scissors and I'm trimming all the bits around the carpet where Pierre especially has torn up sections because what I don't want is for him to get his nails caught in those bits and also, my god, doing this every time, I hate it because it makes me scared about the landlord but so now I'm just doing this first initial hoovering which is usually just picking up bits of like food and you know, just bits of rubbish and all that and like that first layer of gunk which really doesn't pick up much at all. <laughs> yeah I know I hoover weirdly, um, don't judge. <laughs> uh, as you can see there's some areas that are like really dark, like especially like right down there by the bottom of the cabinet, um, where the pumpkin usually is and like right by the base of the cage because obviously that's where they tend to fight a lot and obviously so that's where they roll around and the grease gets all in the carpet. So that's fun. So here I saw a stain on the floor, so I'm using these stain wipes to just sort of have a go at it. Um, I'm these uh, I got them for like a stain near the fridge, actually, in like the kitchen area um, in our apartment. It works a little bit to lighten it. I can't answer for sure if it like really um, gets rid of it. Especially, I think it might work better if it was like you know done straight after the stain happened in the first place. But, you know, for now, it, it, got, it helped lighten it up a little bit, and that's what I needed. So now I use this powder. I was just double checking the instructions. This powder I use all the time in my deep cleaning to help um, clean the carpet. Um, I put a padlock on Squeak's cage because he is well known for breaking out of his cage, and I just opened up a window for some ventilation, and then I very carefully started sprinkling this powder across the car carpet. Being very careful to make sure it doesn't get in Pierre's um, cage obviously because you don't want that happening. And essentially you let this sit for like 20 minutes or so and then you come back and hoover it. Um, 
this whole by the way this whole thing was just like a disaster I, I so many things kept going wrong and i think it's because i was having such bad brain fog this entire time <laughs> and i don't know everything kept going wrong um it was being 20 minutes so i get the hoover out and i'm hoovering and i realized that the camera was like so off angle i do change it like, like later on but yeah the camera was off angle um but you know i'm hoovering i think is that like the this powder gets into clumps really easily so then it's all smeared across weirdly and then you have to sort of go over it and hoover it again it's not the ideal thing so if you guys have any recommendations for anything to clean to like give carpets a really good deep clean please let me know <laughs> um because currently i have like a few different products that i use and this is the main one along with another one that i'll show you guys in a moment um but this one although i like it it's not ideal and really clogs up the vacuum cleaner which i have to um clean out almost every time i use it so yeah if you have any recommendations i'd love to hear it i'm in the uk if it helps because obviously some products are not available yeah so i changed the angle so yeah, you can already see there's some of those oh, yeah it's at this point but the vacuum cleaner stopped working <laughs> luckily i had just finished um so yeah but it stopped working now i'm using this cleaner which i got from wilco's r.i.p wilco's um it's actually for like it's a pet odor and stain remover for like you know um feces and urine stains but it works like a charm on their grease stains is what i call it <laughs> like i think is i've had this bottle for like the two years i've had pierre now and it works like a charm i haven't had to use it often and you're not meant to use it on large areas and you're not meant to use it like i am you're not meant to squeeze it and rub it in you're meant to like lightly brush it in and then leave it <laughs> You're not meant to use it like I do, but I, I use things the wrong way, apparently, so, you know. Um, but it's the best way I have to get rid of, or at least lighten the carpet this way. So I, I go ahead of it. I need to buy a new bottle, honestly. So, yeah, that's, that's all I can do. But So this, this bottle is on its last legs, so I'm just going for it. Okay, so I somehow broke the Hoover. Um, I failed to put a bolt on the cupboard do on the cabinet door, so that's great. Um, I just need to sort out this whole mess, and then I'm done. So let's do that now. All right, this is the mess. Um, Sorry, I'm off. I'm gonna put the um fan away because we don't need this, I took it out during the heat wave. But the heat wave has come and gone just like all of British summer, so that can sort of be put aside. You've got the puppy pads, so I have plenty of these. So I'm just I'm not putting them away away. I'm just sort of like putting things into vague piles for now. Like I said, a pile. It's a clean pile. This is like paperwork, which I really need to move. This is the brush. <laughs> um, I really need to have like a, a grooming section, but I really don't um, have that. I'm really disorganized. I, I'm normally better than this. Okay, so we've got some cleaning stuff over here. So I should probably put like, the fabric stuff back in there. This is on its last leg, so I'm going to put it back in here anyway. Um, the wipes should go in there. Oh my god, there's so much random dust in here. Okay, you know what? Just because it keeps them out of my boy's reach, I'm going to put the actual powders up there. Christ, I'm covered in stuff. <laughs> And since this is all like my boys things, I'll put them all together. That's also to do with that cleaning stuff, I'll put that there. Um, God, I don't know, I'm putting anything. Okay, you do that. 
I really don't want to touch anything, like, not touch anything, but I'm just really tired. <laughs> I keep saying it, I know, but it's true. Okay, we've got hot water bottle and my electric heating pad. That can sort of go with the fan because it's all, you know, weather related supplies. This is the trial. Um, I'm forgetting words for everything. This is what brain fog does to you people. It You forget all of the basic words. <laughs> um, this is our trial cube that we're still working on, so I need to figure that out. This is some litter that I keep spare just in case we run out of pads. This is... Yeah, that's Pierre Squeak. Maybe. I am right here. You don't need to cause a scene, it's fine. Yeah, this is Pierre's old toy that he absolutely loves. I keep it for sentimental value. Right, so let's put um, all the sort of um, those things together over there. I have a bag that I use to keep all the um, show things together, which I put there where it was before with that. I, I'm again it's not super organized the tires this is just rubbish I don't know why I have that I have a bunch of spare items which I really don't think I need including spare bowls I should really just get rid of the bigger do you have because I don't need them we've got three in the bag which are always helpful to have so I'll probably just have that there I got my boys the ridges, which I keep in a little bag for um, important things. Pierre, she's breaking out this cage, she's broken out this cage. Squeak! You come in to join the party? Squeak decided no more. Squeak decided he has to be part of a, of a party. Hello, Squeak. Look, you can come out in a moment. Just be patient. Christ Almighty! <laughs> We're gonna have another fiasco like last night. Is that how it is? Um, right. Yeah. So this is all my old hedgehog stuff. I still have not got the willpower to get rid of it yet. This is all, again, grooming supplies, all the bits and ends for the boys and the lead and bits for their cages, so I'm keeping that on my so I can squish that in there. I love the toy. Yeah, condensed. Okay, condensed. Not a spare bowl. Doesn't look the neatest, but it's fine. Doesn't need to be neat. Doesn't need to be neat. Need to be neat. It just needs to fit. It's not gonna fit. Nope. Oh my god! Squeak! Squeak's overacting like this is fucking jailbreak or something. Squeak, you are fine. You are actually fine. You do not need to act like this is the worst day of your life, baby. Right. Okay, um, what else? Oh yeah, I've got a spare water bottle and some Febreze, which again, just go pop in there. And we've got some bubbles because they really like their bubbles. I'm talking really loudly because he's destroying his cage in there. And that's it. The rest of this down here is going to go in the bin. I've got their regular so everyday cleaning cage stuff. Got their toys. The rest of this is their food. Some of their dangling toys and rubbish. Okay. And then we've got, if I show you over here. Sorry, I'm just manhandling because I'm trying to speed this up because Squeak is determined to get out. We've got 
actually, one moment. I've got some more treats, their favourite. So I'm going to put that. Squeak. I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying to get this done and you are not helping. I will get you out as soon as I am done. As soon as I am done. Yeah, so Nature's Variety, 100% chicken treats going in there. They have had some already while I've been filming. I've got a whole bag of toys, all for them. And I've got the kibble as well. So yeah, um, that always goes here with a jar of chicken feet. I've got um, Balthazar Memorial Box. I've got two ferret toys because <laughs> that's always um, my sort of funny thing to have. I've got my YouTube notebook, I guess. Okay, right, I'm gonna end this here. <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly take the camera off. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, the squeak is breaking out of speech as we speak. <laughs> he has had. He has been out already. He's just, you know, he's getting out. Um, I was going to do a nice after shot as well, but I won't have time now because he's he's out. He's making his way out. Sorry about getting angry, but at the end I'm just very overstimulated and stressed and tired. Okay. This is not the video I wanted to be, sorry guys. Right, um, if you have any advice on, you know, cleaning out your ferret's room, any favourite supplies or anything, please let me know. And as usual, any advice is greatly appreciated. And subscribe for more ferret content. And I love you guys. See you next video. Bye.